Hi everyone, so we're going to take a look at how we can um, set up these media queries so we could customize for desktop, tablet, and mobile. So I'm just going to go to my desktop and create a brand new project. And I'll just call it Breaking Points. And I'm going to just say no to all of these options here. So once I dragged and dropped the new project over into Visual Studio Code, I'm just going to clean up some areas. So I'm going to delete everything inside the globals and just keep the root. That's it. And inside the root, I'm just going to add three colors that I will use for this project. So right here, I just have red, green, and blue that I will use for showing you guys that um, I'm going to create a box and the box color will change based on the different sizes um, that we that I show you guys on screen. Um, I'm going to save this and then I'll go to home.module.css and what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep some of the code so I'm just going to keep the main here and I will delete everything except for the last little bit so let me take a look here so this part here that says mobile. I will keep it, but I'll delete the stuff in between. So I'll keep the first line here that's media and then max width 700. But I'm deleting the stuff inside of it. So it'll just be like that for mobile. And then I'll have the tablet as well. And I'll delete the rest of it. So my home.module.css file will just look like this right now. This is actually a really good starting point since it's already set up. I don't really have to do much else with it. But this min height here, I'll change it to 20. And what I'll do is I'm going to actually go to my pages now and I'm going to go into my index.js. And inside here, this is where I'm going to clean up some of the code as well. So I'll delete everything in between the main. And I'm going to delete this inter. And I'm not going to have an image. So that should be good. And in between the main here, I'm going to make a div. And I'll just add the word test for right now. And I'll have a class name. which is equal to styles.container. And I will also add a on click. So when we click on it, um, we can see that it shows up in our console log. I'll just put the word test again here. So I'll make it a little bit different. I'll say testing. And so we have this container and what we could do is I could go into my home.module.css and I'm going to stylize it a bit. So before I do that, I'll just show you what it looks like right now in the browser before I do any type of stylization. npm run dev. And it's going to be in 3001, so localhost 3001. So I'm just showing you right now, this is what it looks like currently. It just says the word test, but I want to add a background color um, to show a box here. And this is going to be really important in like an empty area. Just right click with your mouse. And right here you should see the word inspect. So we're going to click on inspect here. And we will be able to see a bunch of areas here that will help us when we stylize certain areas. So here we got like just the HTML format of what divs and different tags we are using. And you can always click on these little triangles to open it up. You can see we got that div test right there. And when you click on it, you can see where it's highlighted on the screen. And here, this is really nice 
underneath you can see the styles so we can see the root colors that we set up and whatever else stylization you'll see gets added um, so we could see what we're doing in our code and another important area is this console tab so right at the top elements console so you could see here this is where we're going to get this little message here if we click on something so let's see if i click on the word test you can see here that the number goes up each time i click it so this is a great way of just testing to make sure that whatever needs to be clickable that actually works when you add an on click and another important area is right up here in the center area of the screen you can see dimension responsive so this is just the default so you can drag the right side here, like close it, open it up, and then um, we'll eventually be able to see how things change based on the media query. But here, if I click on the dimensions responsiveness, there's a little arrow. And if I click on it, you can see here, I can change between the different um, tablets or phones, whatever it is. So here I got iPad Air, and then here I got iPhone XR. So depending on what you want, um, we can change to different devices. The most important right now are just iPad Air and iPhone XR, and just like the base of basic, and just the basic responsive, um, so we could manually move things. So we can manually move the width ourselves. So let's go back to the code so we can actually see some changes on the screen. So right over here we got the home.module.css and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my index.js. We can see here that we got a styles of container and this container if I save it, I'm going to go to home.module.css, I'm going to go uh, home.module.css. So here in my home.module.css, so here in my home.module.css, I'm going to put a dot container first in the main area under the main tag. And I'm just going to add a width of 200 pixels and a height of 200 pixels. And then I'll put a background color of var red. So I'm going to save it right now. And what I'll also do here, though, is I... You can see here the media is saying that this is for if the max width is 700 pixels or less. So this is more for mobile, which are small screens. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this container um, style and I'm going to put it inside the mobile. So you can see that it's being nested inside of this um, media query here. And I'm going to make this, instead of 200, I'll make it 50 pixels. And I'm going to make this, instead of red, I'll make it blue. Just so we could see the different colors when we change between different devices. And what I'll also do is I'm going to copy this container. And here we got the tablet. So this will be between a min width of 701 pixels and a max width of 1120. You can always change these numbers. It's up to you. But I'll put it here in between this media query. And I'm going to make this 150 width and 150 height. And I'm going to make this a green color. So I'm just using these colors that have been already created in the globals.css. And we're going to see that the main desktop area will be red. Then on the tablet, it'll be green. And then here on mobile, it'll be blue. And each time we change from desktop, tablet, and mobile, the box size the size of it will get smaller and smaller as well. So let me save this and I'll go back to the code. I'll go back to the browser. So I'll just refresh the page just to make sure. So you can see here we got our red box with the word test inside of it. If I click, you can see the numbers go up. In our console here, if I go to elements here, and here if I hover over the div, you can see here I got all of the different um, styles that I've added. And the great thing about this is 
in this styles area, you can actually change the numbers here, change the colors if you want. Um, it's up to you. But just remember that when you refresh the page, this automatically just disappears. So it's not actually saving in your real code. But it's a good way of just testing things out. I'm just going to refresh the page one more time. So we got our red box here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the dimension responsive to iPad Air now. So you can see here, um, we got a smaller screen and now we got the green box. And you can see here it updated the color here as well and the width and height. And now if I change the dimensions to iPhone XR, it's a blue square now. And here you could see in the styles as well, it changed to the variable blue and our width and height got smaller as well. And again, if I just go to console, click on the box, you can see that um, each time we click it, the number increases.